Buenos dias, Adam. Coming to our yoga video from the rooftop of Oakland, California. So you can start off crossing your legs, taking a deep breath in, and then letting everything go on the exhale. Long spine, letting your tailbone be slightly tough, pull the belly button in towards the spine. Let your tongue rest on the space between your gum and your front teeth. And allow your ears to be in line with your shoulders and your nose in line with your belly button. Soften the muscles around the knees and your hips. And then just bring your awareness to your breath. I'm not trying to change it, just notice it. If you'd like, you can place your hands in a mudra. Noticing your fingers with your thumb and your pointer finger touching, pointing down slightly, or rest your right hand on top of your left, letting your thumbtips touch for a more calming energy cultivation. Along the spine, relax the forehead, and then if you'd like to set an intention for yourself, you can do so now. A feeling that you want to have more of, or if there is just being aware of the moment, a practice that you want to incorporate more throughout the day, you can set that intention. And then take a deep breath in to your belly, your chest, and your shoulders to the top of your head, and then letting everything go from the top of your head, your shoulders, your chest, and your belly breath in and then let everything go good and then release your hands inhale reach your arms up let your gaze come up above towards your hands let your arms come back so your shoulders begin to open up and then release bringing your hands down and out hinge forward plant your hands on the ground and walk yourself up inhale long spine and then exhale dropping your head relaxing your shoulders you can let your fingertips touch the floor be lifted so they're like spiders. Relax your knees and then walk your hands over towards the right side. Drop your head, shaking it left and right. And then release, come back to center, walking your hands over to the left side. And then release, coming back to center, walking your hands up, planting them onto the ground. Onto the ground and then Lift your hips up, point your knees down, let your chest come up, drop your head back. And then release, bring your hands back down. Bring your feet up and then swing around, coming on to all fours into a tabletop position. We're going to move through some cat cows, so finding your breath, whatever rhythm you're on, noticing where you are. And then on the next exhale, pull the belly button into the spine, pushing the back up towards the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. Tuck your chin and then inhale, drop the belly, pull the shoulders away from the ears, pull the tailbone up, lift the chest, opening up the chest. And then exhale, pull the belly button into the spine, pushing your back up to the ceiling. One more like that. Inhale, dropping your belly, lifting your gaze, lifting your tail up. Pull the back up to the ceiling, pull the belly button up. Good. And then you're going to inhale, reach the right leg back, straight back. And then exhale, bring that knee in towards the right elbow. Tuck the chin, pull the back up to the ceiling. And then inhale, extend. And then exhale. One more, inhale. And then drop that foot down. You can spin that left foot out, shift your weight to the left side, and then reach your right arm up, letting your chin come towards that shoulder. Option to reach your arm up alongside your ear, stretching alongside that right side of your body. And then release, bring the hand back down, tuck your right toe, lift your right knee, lift the left, um, tuck the left toe, and then push your hips back, coming into a downward facing dog. Shake the 
head out, shake the legs out, or bend the knees left and right, left and right. And then inhale, high push up or plank, then lower down. Inhale, no knees, chest, chin, or upward facing dog or cobra, lifting the chest up, shoulders back. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high push up or plank, coming back onto your knees, onto the tabletop position. Move through one round of cat cow, dropping your belly, lifting your knees. And then exhale, pull the belly button into the spine, pushing your back up. And then tabletop position. Bring your left leg back. Inhale, and then exhale, bring that knee in towards the elbow. Inhale, extend, lift your chest, gazing forward, bring that left leg back. Drop your left hip a little bit so that your hips are squared off, so you activate your core too, so that you're using that to extend through the left leg. And then exhale, bring that left knee in towards the elbow. And then inhale, extend it back, and then drop the foot on the ground, shift your waist to the right side, bring that left arm up, turn and twist, letting your gaze come up towards that left Hand and then option to bring that left arm over alongside your ear. And then release, bring that hand back down. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up, coming into a downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up and back. Make Bend the right knee and then make circles with that right knee. Bring that knee up as high as you can towards the ceiling, opening the hip up wide. And then release that right foot back down. Bring the left leg up. Bend the left knee. Make circles with your left knee going one way. Shake your head. Relax the back of the neck. And then the circles the other way. And then release. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, plant that right foot in between your thumbs. Drop your left knee. Place your hands onto your thighs. Top of the left foot comes onto the ground. Release the hands by your side. And then inhale, lift your arms up, lifting your chest up, option to create a little arch in your back, sinking forward, and then release, bring the left hand down to the ground, tuck your left toe, lift your left knee, option, pull, and then bring your right arm up and twist. You can keep the left knee down if that's too much to tuck the, um, tuck the toes and lift the left knee up, and then release, bring the hands onto the inside of right foot, letting your upper body come down, bringing your forearms as close down to the ground as you can. You can walk that left knee back so you can sink forward, shaking your head out, hug the right knee in towards the arm, and then release, bring the hands on either side of the right foot, leave that right foot out to the side and then you can feel the right toes up, stretching the back of the right leg, inhale, pull the shoulder blades together behind you, and then exhale, fold forward stretching the back of the right leg. Bringing your right toes towards your face. And then release, bring that right foot back down, plant the, tuck the right, tuck the left toes. And now we're gonna land that left foot, so pivot around that left foot, and then partly your arms open, coming into a warrior two. So bending the right knee, let the right knee come over the right ankle and then bring your right hand up and back. Left hand comes onto the back of the left leg and then release. Bring your hands back down. Chin comes over your shoulder and then bring your right arm alongside the right thigh. Reach your left arm up and then over just like before. And then release. Bring the both hands down to the ground. Bring the right foot up and back and then exhale, downward facing dog. Shake the head out, left and right. Deep breath in through the nose. And then parting your lips, letting everything out of your mouth. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, bring that left foot in between your thumbs, drop the right knee, pop the right foot on the ground, bring your hands up to your thigh. Drop the knee, relax the side, and then reach your arms up. Lifting your chest up to the ceiling, lift your gaze up towards your hand and let yourself sink forward. So you stretch the right thigh and then release.
bring the right hand down to the ground, twist your left arm up, and then option to bring that right knee up off the ground. And then release, bring your hands back down, planting them on the inside of that left foot, drop your right knee, letting your body come down. Hug your left knee in towards your left arm. side of that left leg, peel your left toes up, walk your hands back, inhale. If you have like um, blocks or books, you can put them underneath your hands or like cans of soup. Blocks are the best though and then let your body come down, stretching the back of your left leg. And then release. Walk your hands up, tuck your right toe and then pivot that foot down, open your arms out, coming into a warrior two, bending your left knee, letting that knee come to be stacked over your ankle. Pull your shoulders up back and down, letting your gaze come right past your left fingertips, pull that right arm back, and then let your right hand come onto your thigh. Reach the left arm up and back, letting your gaze come up towards the ceiling. And then towards the right leg. And then release warrior two. Bend your left arm, letting it rest on your thigh. Reach your right arm up. And then over alongside towards your uh, the left leg. Pull the belly button into the spine. And then release. Bring your both hands down to the ground. Pivot around that back foot. Bring your left leg up and back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high push up your plank. Lower down, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Then inhale, tops of the feet on the ground. Lifting your chest up, and then exhale, downward facing dog. And then come on to your back. Bring the legs up, interlace the hands behind the head. And then 20 bicycles, bring your opposite elbow to connect with your knee, extending through the extended leg as straight as you can connect, never letting your shoulders come down to the ground. So the whole time the belly is engaged, keep going nice and slow, but with awareness and not holding your breath. So keep breathing, trying to touch that left elbow to the right knee, right elbow to the left knee. Keep going, 15 more, good, 13, 12, keep going, keeping your shoulder blades off the ground, nine, eight, seven, six, keep your chin lifted, three, two, and one, and then releasing your knees, let the knees come over to the right side, let your Gaze come to the left, stretching the whole spine. Relax the shoulders onto the ground. Option to take your right hand on the outer edge of your left leg. And then release, come back to the center, pull the knees in towards the chest, give them a good squeeze. Pushing your lower back onto the ground and then release those knees over to the left side, letting your shoulders sink into the ground and use that left hand if you want to push down on your thigh and twist. And then release, coming back to the center. Lift your legs up, holding here for five breaths. Let your palms be open towards the sky. Come back to that intention that you set. Push your lower back onto the ground. And then slowly lower your legs down, keeping them as straight as possible and keeping your lower back on the ground. So slowly as you can, just one hair at a time, lowering those feet all the way down, using your core, pushing your back into the ground and then release all the way out. Relaxing the top of your head. Relax your hips. 
Relax the tops of your feet. Relax the palms of your hands. Let your whole body relax. bring your awareness to the space right below your nose as you begin to deepen your inhale. You can wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, reaching your arms up above your head. Hold on to your left wrist, then bring your arms over towards the right side. Stretching them all the way up, switch hands, hold on to your right wrist, bring them over to the left side, and then Bend the knees and then rock yourself left and right. Give them a good squeeze and then rock yourself over to the right side of the mat, cradling your head with your right hand or your right arm, holding there for a moment in that fetal position. And then pushing yourself up to a seated position. Palms resting on your knees, bringing your awareness back to your breath, noticing how your body may feel different. Maybe you're just more aware of it. Letting yourself understand your body in the language that it's speaking to you as opposed to the language that we impose. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Parting your lips, letting everything go. Two more like that. Deep breath in. And then letting everything go. One more. Bring your hands to your heart. The light and teacher in me honors and vows the light and teacher in you. Namaste.